so how to invoke cdi task in ci process some reasons we have to call so whatever we have created already in the data integration task so we can use task only not task flow okay so task only so we cannot invoke uh, invoke the task flow so only task only we can invoke so how to invoke the task from cdi task to ci process so normally we need to have a task right so as of now we do not have any task so just i will create one task in data integration module okay so because this account is new go and create a new task before that i need the mapping i'll create a new mapping this is just a one to one mapping i'm just creating to load the data from this hr schema to another schema okay so this hr user to this core user so now i will take a table here select star from employees table just i will take the employees table i want to load the data to this particular user this particular table okay so we have data some data as of now manually i will truncate it truncate table table name manually i will truncate just this one i will go to this as of now no data so we will create one cdi process to load the data mapping m underscore i'm just creating a mapping uh, employees data load so this where i'm creating in data integration i'm just creating so employees data okay employees data load so employees data load just go to this source source here and use this okay connection connection also i think i haven't created new connection we can import the previous object also connection name i'm just creating the connection name is oracle underscore src i'll create oracle connection runtime environment is local runtime environment okay username is hr password is hr host name is local host so this will be in real time project this will be done by admin team in dev environment we will do it service name you can get these details from admin dns entry from admin yes you can do it this way test it it should be tested okay make sure that this runtime environment is running fine click okay here so now i will go to this select object so whatever the object is available in this user all the object it will show you here just i am selecting this employees object click okay so this is nothing but creating one to one mapping since it is first time it is taking time so these are the fields are available here then i'll go to target here open the target go to target here so target connection also should be created here if we would have created this uh, admin connection then all other user will be available here oracle underscore tgt connection use the runtime environment similarly username is core password is core so if you are importing this connection from different account to this account so password will not be imported okay you have to give the password okay so at one time we have to in put the password so if you are connecting with admin schema so then you can mention that schema name okay hr or core that particular schema name then one single connection itself it's fine so i will take the target object here actually we should have this uh, all the mapping should be available already but since uh, i created the new account it, it is not available okay so i'm just creating so in your system it should be available you can use the existing mapping okay i'm just truncating and loading go to field mapping do the smart map save this mapping should be valid and create the task for this new task mapping task create it 
So give the name as MCT or MTT. So anything is fine. So mapping select. So only more, one mapping should be available now. Select this mapping. So I'm not using any pre command, pre session command or anything, email task or anything. Just so I saved it. Okay. So we have one task here. So how can I invoke this task from CAI process, right? So sometimes we can call this CDI task also from CA. So I'm doing some process, okay? As part of process, I have to, so one process I have to call CDA within the process itself, I'm asking, not a separate one. I'm just, I'm going to go process. This is similar to task flow. Okay, so here process CDA task. Okay, something like that. I'm just giving the name. So here I will take the service here, service, and I will open this to service. Okay, first to go to start. In the start, we have to give the allowed user, right? Support at nicitacademy.com. Then applies to run on, so everything is uh, similar. There is no input field, output field for this process. So if you have any other options like assignment or any task you are going to call, yes, you can call it. But here I'm going to take service here. So go to the service. So connection service means you, you know the connection is app connection, service connection, right? So that is a service. So process means inside the process, I'm just calling another process. It's like a sub process. But this time I'm not using connection. I'm not using process go to system service. So here we can select, for example, in CAI, we have to run some shell command. So we can use run shell command. So this particular action we can select. We have to delete some object. So we can put some object name here, connection name, object type, all this, it will delete. It will, it will get deleted, delete object. So some API we have to do. Uh, message okay so on shell command and run cloud task so we have to go to the run cloud task to invoke cdi process so here we have to give these options like task name so wait for task to complete maximum wait time so fail on cloud task error so all these options so what is the output field we will get it run id task status all this will get us an output okay so select the system service run cloud task here. Where should I give the task name? Go to input field. So here we have to give task name. This is the mandatory one. So this one, no need to give, it's not mandatory. Just to select this, I'm selecting employees data load, select it, task, okay. So task name I selected, save this, publish it. So get this, this URL. So I'll go to my process. Previously we executed today, two times this process, right process object, this one. Similarly, I want to execute this. See if I'm, I'm not entering it, I just I have given this one. Before entering, I'll show you, there is no data, right? I'm going to enter it. It means I'm going to invoke the process through API. It means through scheduler or any other third party tool we can invoke. I just invoked the process. If you want to put output something like, okay, process has been invoked. So that we can put it here output. Okay, completed. Now we will check it whether it has loaded the data. It will, load, it will take some time to load. Yeah, now it has loaded the data. It means has been executed, right? So now it has been executed, it will trigger. So this one will trigger this CDA one. Okay, so just I'll go to my jobs. So executed today. So this is the one we can see here. 
So data has been loaded, right? So this way we can invoke through API, showing that through API it has been invoked. So this way, so we can invoke through API the CDI process. So sometimes interview they will ask, so how will you invoke CDI task through API? Yeah, this is the in CI we can create it. And uh, so this is the answer you have to tell them, okay? And similarly, so how can I invoke CAI task, okay, CAI process in CDA? Okay, CDA, how can I invoke it? So I'll go to application integration, okay? First of all, we'll check this, the COVID data, right, this one where we created target files. I think here we created, right? The COVID data. I'll remove this one, okay? I have just, I deleted the data. There is no target file is available now. I'll go to explore, CA session. So where is the COVID data, this one? So I will take property details published. So I'm just checking whether it is working fine or not. I'm just invoking from here. So then how can we use this one in the CDA? Okay, so it's working fine. It has created the file also here, right? I will delete this one. So this process is running fine. The same one we will use it in CDA also. So what is the input here? We have to give input date and ISO, okay. So now I will go to data integration. In CAI, is, it is called process. In CDI, it is called task flow, right? Just we will go to task flow. We will create a task flow here. In CDA, it is called task flow. So create a new task flow. In CDA session, we have seen this one, task flow also. So just we will give the name of the task flow. So task flow underscore CAI process in CDA. So how can I call this one? So we have to go to the start the allowed users, we have to give the users, otherwise we will not get, okay. So just I'm not giving this. I'll show you if I'm not giving, so how it will uh, it will take. I'll go to input field. So input is two input, right? One is date and ISO. So that we have to give. I'll take it here. Input field is date. So this one is ISO here. Text only, and I'll go to, okay, output we do not have, just we are taking the output from there itself. Just we can take uh, input field, it is uh, this one only. So now we will take this process. So this is the one, run, runs an integration of ops task, right? So just to take this one. So go to this integration ops task, CAI process, task name. So this is the task name. We will take location, everything it will take automatically, date and ISO automatically, all the information it has taken. Now go to input field. So that should be given to this input. So here only we have to give input. Input field, date. So here only we have to give, okay. So they are known to give. So ISO, that is also text here. Click on this. Go to this field. Select this ISO, okay. It's coming from 
the input. So whatever the input here we are giving, so that will be taken here. So save this. So whatever we are giving input here, so that will be taken to this input field. And whatever the input we are here we are giving, so that input we are passing here. So that will be taken to this process. So in turn, this process will take this input field. It will trigger that process. It will send the data. So now I will publish it, this task flow. In addition to this, you can take any other uh, data transfer task also. But after publishing it, if you see, so here it is saying that no service URL is available. So because we have to put this username, right? So copy this, go to start of the task. The start, we have to put allowed users or user group. Save this, publish it. And if, if you see the now property details, yes, we have, right? So this is a CDA task flow. So this is CDA task flow, see now. So this is not CA, it is a CDA task flow. So I will take this one. Similarly, I will invoke this process. Question mark. I'll put this, I will enter it. Run ID. Since it is at CDA, we are getting the run ID. We should get the file also here. 754 file has been created, right? So we will check this file also. So 14, 3, 2020, and this is the data we have. We will send another data, 14, 3, 2020, take 2022, July, July 1st. I send India. I'm sending so run ID. Then we should get one file India. First July 2022. Yeah, we got this result also. So this is the way we can invoke. See, just I have invoked only one data ops task, right? So you, you can put so all other tasks also here. So we have seen already this one parallel sequential command task. So file watcher, all this we have seen, right? So that as well. So including this, you can call CI process also in CDI. Okay. So I hope you are clear how to invoke CDI into CI, CI into CDI.